Wow, so many people come in already. Wow, good morning, good evening, and good afternoon to some. I didn't see all these comments. Aw, Lori had to go. That's okay. I hope everybody is doing well. I've got a uh, recipe that I got from Miss Stacy today. Well, not today, yesterday. That I've been wanting to play with. I just needed the recipe. And we are going to play with that today for the first time. I've not played with it was asking questions. I guess we'll answer my questions today. So who all do we have in here? I see four in here. Hi, Miss Lynn. Hi, Chris. It's Kristen. Kristen. Please forgive me. My memory is not too good. <laughs> <laughs> if I've met you and said hello to you in previous shows, thank you for coming back. If uh, if you are new here, thank you for coming in. Oh, you're about to carpool. You wanted to say hello? Well, thank you for coming in and saying hello. So, how is everybody? I'm going to wait for some more people to come in. I have a really neat recipe. Everybody's been asking for it, but just didn't know where to find it. And I got lucky and got this recipe sent to me. Kristen Carson. Your name sounds very familiar. The last name sounds very familiar. I think I've sent you something if I'm correct. Hey, Joy. Yes, I did. As soon as she posted it, I always watch Pia's videos and I always watch yours. I knew I sent you something. That last name rang a bell. It's the same person. Well, duh, for me. Y'all, if, you, if you've been watching me long enough, uh, Y'all should know my brain ain't, don't work right. It takes me a while to get my, you know, brain going. <laughs> um, I thought it was really, really neat. Uh, after that, I actually searched how to make pop-ups, and I kind of got stuck in the rabbit hole of other things, and it just went from pop-ups to something else to something else to something else to something else to something else. You know the, you know the wild rabbit hole. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, the scavenger hunt journal thing that I was going to do this this time, it didn't work out because nobody signed up for it. So we're going to try again in May sometime uh, to do the sign up for a just a 25 page scavenger hunt. Uh, not too big. You can use any type of book, you know, that type of thing. Um, but I do want to make a really quick announcement. I'll make it again. Um, uh, Well, 100, when, when I did Danina's, I still have Laura's uh, scavenger back here. I still haven't finished it. I mean, I just haven't had time. I've been swamped. Um, but a quick announcement, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, if you are a part of our group, uh, you... Uh, I'm sitting here playing with my stuff. I'm going to end up breaking it if I don't quit messing with it. Uh, you've probably seen already the announcement for the next auction. But I'm going to be taking donations for this next auction. It is called what is what I call a build a box. You don't have to have a specific size. You don't have to have it humongous. You can be as small as this. I mean, it's, it's up to you. And this box is going to be auctioned off sight unseen. So in other words, you send the box. I'm not opening it up until the day of auction. And even then I'm not opening it up. Whoever bids on it will be bidding blind and you cannot tell them what's in the box. 
you cannot. So if it was you that sent and you're in the auction, you can't tell them what's in the box. You can't even tell me because I don't want to know because I want to keep it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But you can't. Uh, but you can't tell what it is unless that person privately messages you uh, about the contents of the box after they purchase, not uh, not during the auction. Don't tell. But anyway, um, we are going to be having our auction uh, in on May 4th, I think I said it for May 4th. I didn't write it down. I just looked it on my calendar and said it on my calendar on my phone. I didn't write it down. <laughs> but anyway, um, the time is to be announced because I don't know what time because I believe it is on a Friday. Again, because <clears throat> that seemed to... Um, produce quite a bit of people um but not exactly sure it's either friday or saturday but um yeah that we are taking donations for that to help pay for medical bills and medical uh appointments to get there and everything because you guys know i don't have a vehicle so i have to pay someone or pay a taxi or a lyft or an uber to get me to appointments so this is um uh, this is a auction fundraiser type dealio benefit thing to help raise the money to um, get me to those appointments. Um, for all of those who are asking about how my doctor's appointment went, it went okay. Uh, it's excruciating three hours of my life because <laughs> I was a new patient and they had to do all kinds of paperwork and I'm sitting here twiddling my thumbs looking at all these things that they're going to do and I'm like I'm literally looking at the doctor like, what the hell are you going to do to me? And uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, it went well. Um, I had the most uncomfortable thing done, and all you ladies know what I'm talking about. It's not a man probing you, something else. It was at May 3rd. Thank you. <laughs> I couldn't remember my own option. <laughs> Can you believe that? No, don't answer that. Do not answer that. I'll answer it. Yeah, I can believe it. But, uh, so it went okay. And I won't get the results back until the 12th of April. I'm sitting on pins and needles right now trying to figure out what to do if bad news comes my way so answer to your question i don't know what's going on i won't get results back until the 12th so appeasing minds um we only have 11 people and i've shared that out in several groups um do y'all want to go ahead and get started or do we want to wait and chat for a minute up to you all. You tell me. You tell me. Sorry guys, I was looking at my camera at my table. I'm like, what is that? As y'all can see my wall, my table is kind of falling. But I've got little projects going in different boxes and bags and things like that. I've got whips. I've got whips out the foot. Works in progress. Nobody is speaking. But anyway, um, as I was saying before, this recipe I got from uh, Miss Stacy Evans. Uh, she was kind enough to send me the link to that uh, I'm Carrie Ann. Uh, she was kind enough to send me a link to this because everybody's been wanting to know what this recipe is and never sent can't seem to find it so miss Stacy the poodle mama sent me the link to this video as you guys know I'm going to try it and as I said this is the very first time I've never touched it I got all my ingredients for this there's only two ingredients alcohol and Vaseline or petroleum jelly in some countries. Two ingredients, guys. Y'all know what I'm making? Anybody know? 
everybody. Make a guess. There you go, Glenn, uh, Lynn. There you go. Good guess. So, we are going to try this sucker out. But first, we're going to play some. Because you got to play. you got to have the paper. So, what we're going to play with is we're going to be playing with some watercolor. I'm going to be doing exactly how she did it in her video. I'm not going to vary from what she did. I'm going to do what she did. I just don't, I don't think that I'm using the same watercolor paints that she used. This is Artist Loft. I don't have the, the Japanese paints. This is all I got. This is it. Um, so we're going to be playing with those. And as I said, I'm not varying from uh, the technique that she used. I'm going to go exactly the way she did. Um, so it's just more of an updated and um, after the video is posted, I will put the link to her video up uh, in the um, in the description box. I just don't have it up there now. I should have put it in there, but you know. Um, but I will put her link into the description box after this video is posted, guys. So if you want to follow how she does it, you're more than welcome to. I'm just following her tutorial <laughs> step by step, and I'm going to do exactly what she did. So. Um, anyway, let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and put you guys down to the table and we'll see how this goes. Okay. Can hardly see. I need to pull up my... There we go. Alright, this is a piece of, um, watercolor paper and I believe it is by the brand Arteza. I believe T loves this paper. So, we have some Arteza paper, watercolor paper. It is uh, 140 pound uh, art watercolor paper. So, if you all are wondering what paper I'm using, this is it. I have no way affiliated with these people. I'm just showing them, showing you what I'm using. And so, I have took a piece of that and I have chopped it in half. Well, cut a piece off apparently but not it's not a full sheet so what we're going to do is we're going to play with watercolor and so we've got our water here and our watercolor so we're going to uh we're going to put some water on this and then we'll put down some uh some color we want it to look pretty don't we Because on watercolor paper, you want to you wanna put water on your paper. That way it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, since I only used water, I can put that back in my rack. Now we can play with some color. I'm going to spray my color palette here. Put some water. So we're going to start with some pretty bright colors. So let's go with some pink. We're not going to go with any rhyme or reason with this because we're going to be playing with this sheet anyway. We're going to go with a slight gradient of color. Can y'all see all right? this for something else you never know. Let's see, we've got some pink. It's about the same color. Put some purple. We all know my favorite color.
I'm doing this for a reason. I need to get me some one of those, some of those watercolor pencils that actually work and don't bleed and leak the water everywhere. Because the ones that I do have, I can't even use. They don't even hold the water. What do you expect from China? I'm doing a darker color on one side of the paper and then doing a lighter color on the, on the other side because we're going to do a test and see what happens. water jar out a little bit better but that's okay uh, let's do a little bit of black and on here we want to because I've already got black on that one. Let's soften up these colors, rub them together. It almost looks like one of those geodes you, that you see. Using water to kind of blend these colors. Make it like a gradient. So we have a, well, a light to dark gradient. Hello, Nancy. Right, so we're going to clean up our area. We're going to set this to the side to dry. And we're going to pretty up some more. And I found a neat little trick. For all of those who have, are using a glass mat that is not the Tim Holtz glass mat, and you have glue all over your table, you know, like if you, you use a lot of glue and it drips down and you forget about it and you've got these big chunks of glue on your, on your glass table, here's a little trick that I learned today, actually. I picked these up. You can get these at the dollar store. You can get them two for a dollar. And what these are are mini little scrapers. And what you can do is you can use these to scrape your glue, your stuck off, your stuck up glue off of your mat. And it's a quick and easy cleanup and get all your stuff off of your mat, off of your glass mat. Just a little trick in FYI. These are go, these go in my craft room. I did actually buy them to scrape some paint off of. Oh, I could distress, like takes make an edge on some of my wooden signs, but these work great. For what I just figured out. So, yeah. <clears throat> All right. I've got another smaller piece of the same watercolor. So, we're going to um, clean out our brush. And hopefully, it's not going to stain our brush. All right. So, let's, let's put some water down. We're going to cover that up. It may have stained the the water and the brush a little bit, but that's okay. That is okay. Let's put that there. All right, now. Let's get 
Сомнела. Just mixing some colors and going from there. Whoop, let me rinse that out a little bit. Because we may do something with this later on once I finish it, I don't know. Alright, so we have another sheet here. Just full of color. And we're going to put this again to the side. And we're going to do one more. We got another piece here. Let's swap our tangle up. with some darker colors. Y'all know what's my favorite go-to color? This looks like a unicorn field, don't it? We're just playing. There's no rhyme or reason to what doing here. Let's see what's another color. Let's see. Let's move to the pretty blue.
amazing what you can do with a little bit of color, huh? Almost looks tie dye. Nothing has to be perfect. Nothing, 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 nothing. And let's see what's the final color to go with. Um, let's see. Let's go with a pretty orange. Have a red or straight red, or I'll go with a red. Let's see. Let's see. Let's mix orange and Let's mix, 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 mix. Deep red. Yeah, that'll work. You don't need much. So, we have that one to sit and dry for a minute. some spaces here. Alright, so we're going to set that off to dry. And there's reasons why I use kind of darker colors. So let's set that to dry. Isn't it pretty? I really like that. <laughs> it's okay. Oh, hey, Mama. It's okay to leave some white spaces. Well, we're, we're going to ruin one side <laughs> of this, but I think that's really pretty. I'm going to have to do that again. All right, let's get our original piece out after I clean up my mess. I love playing with watercolor. I just wish I had the nicer set that had all kinds, you know, the real pretty colors, the Japanese one. All right, so here's our first piece here. And so, that's almost dry. Yeah, that's almost dry. Let's, let's put that up. Because we've got to make our resist. Mama probably knows what I'm about to do. All right, so, you're going to need petroleum jelly. You're not going to need much. That's the reason why I got a small container of this. And I can you can make all kinds of things with this stuff. Especially if you've got a baby. You're going to need petroleum jelly, a palette knife, alcohol spray and a little bowl many of you may if you've ever watched my cooking with emily and james lee uh show you'll recognize these little these little uh containers i'm gonna have to find me a container to put this in i think i have one i think miss jamie sent me a yeah. not gonna be the best And a little container to put your stuff in. And a little dauber of some sort, which I so did not think about until just now. But I bet you you could use your hands to do it. I don't have one of those Tim Holtz uh, ink pad things. 
I'll give it to Betsy. Now that I need it, I can't find one. But whenever I don't need it, they're right in my face. Go figure. I got too much stuff sitting out over here. I need to put it away. Oh, there they are. Woo! I found them. They're right in front of my face. Go figure. <laughs> uh, if you don't have one of those Tim Holtz um, little smudge things, you can use a little makeup sponge. It works. All right. Yeah, let's put the watercolor up. Set that there. All right. So, you're going to need a bowl. Petroleum jelly palette knife, alcohol, and a container. So, you're going to want to get, from her recipe, I'm doing this verbatim, she said to get about a teaspoon. A teaspoon. So, basically, cover the end of your, your palette knife. That's about a teaspoon right there. Now, you want to put it in your, you're going to put it in your container. Alright. Now, she said to put about two to three sprays of alcohol in there. Not much. Don't need much. One, two, three. All right. And she said that she used the side of her container to mix it in. She says it's a pain in the butt, a pill. Just keep doing it. It's going to be a little odd. Hopefully you guys can see how I do this. But just keep mixing. Keep mixing. She said that Tim Holtz Resist is a little bit different. You don't have, it's not goopy or anything, as far as I can tell. I've never seen it, never used Tim Holtz Resist stuff. I'm making my own, <laughs> so I cannot compare to anything. I'm just saying what she said. Giving her credit where credit is due. So, Miss Stacy Evans is the creditor to this recipe. So, if you have any questions, ask her. Because <laughs> I don't know. I've never used this stuff before. Never made it. And she said that it should be like... Uh-oh. Well. Huh. Let's put that back in there. It wanted, to, it wanted to run. It didn't want to be used. She said that in the beginning, it looks like a yellow you know gasoline looks a little uh, yellow but in the end you'll want to get a like a milky white the reason why I used the black is you can see the color you'll uh you'll see a milky white color coming out of this I just want to keep mixing until you got a good consistency like that all right so now that's done so like I said a teaspoon of, um, of Vaseline three sprays of alcohol and mix it together and that is your resist paste and we're going to try it out here in just a second all right now this is the reason why I did this one side is light and one side is dark, and we'll be able to show you. Now, get your pad or your, your little circle thing that Tim Holtz has. You can use it. A little bit goes a long way, she said. And let's see. We want to... Hmm, we want this to drip. So, we're going to cover this side, and it's going gonna, it's gonna, to uh, be a little bit... Uh, you want to cover it and you want to have a towel around okay you want to take your your art rag or whatever you're using you want to take it and sort of rub it in now she marked it to where you could tell that there where there's her thing was her line was for her paper and our line right is right here and so it's reason why I did that so we separate our lines 
the, the texture, you don't even know it's there. It's got like a very, very matte finish to it. She is correct. If you if you go back and watch her video, if I went uh, when I post it, it's got a very matte finish. You can, you don't even hardly tell it's there. As a <laughs> you, you really can't tell it's there at all. So here's the test, guys. This is the unfinished side. This is the finished side with the with the uh, with the um, what is it called? Um, the resist on. So we're going to take our water bottle here and we're going to spray. Okay. You see this? It works. See the beads up here? We're going to tip the paper. Look at that. It's just running off. The colors are still mixing here. Let me see if I can get a piece of paper like she did. Let's try this again. See that? This stuff works, guys. This stuff works, and you can see the beads on this side where we treated it, and you can tell where this side has has dripped. Cool, huh? So this is Stacy Evans' recipe. So we're gonna we're gonna do this on another one, and it does not affect the color on this side at all. We're going to dry that up because we're going to use that in another time. So, see how all that color on the back? Even it bubbles up on the back too. Well, that's where I set it down. But still, that cool. Almost looks like a mountainside. You turn it right at it. Up right. Alright, now let's try the pastel. Pastel colors. No. I'm going to make me a nice batch of this up because this stuff's the bomb. We have our pastel piece. Now, we are going to use a pair of scissors and we're going to cut this in half. I'm going to show you piece for piece what this does. One side we're going to use the resist on, the other side we're going to leave blank. Okay? So, we're going to use the resist on this side now. I'm going to take our little spongy do here. Take some on the sponge. I'm going to place it on here. And after that, we are going to take our towel, our our cloth. We're going to rub it. As I said before, you can hardly tell it's on there. Find places where it didn't right, that good. All right, so now this has been treated. This has not. I'm gonna pull this up to the camera that way you guys can see what happens. You see the beads? They are beating up on top of the surface and just dripping off. Now, with the other one, it is not treated.
no beets. And the water is mixing again, which reactivates the watercolor paint. So this has not been treated and it's mixing. So this versus this. Homemade resist. You still see the bubbles on that? And you can't put that. Yeah, the white spaces are going away. You're right, Mama. So I hope you guys like this little recipe. So it's not my idea, so credit is given to Stacy Evans for this cool little uh, this cool little trick for a, re a resist. I'm going to use this more often because I'll you know there are a lot of things that I am scared of to do, and this one was it because I didn't know how to do it, and I bucked up and I and I got hold of Stacy and Stacy, what? <laughs> do I do and she sent me the link and thank goodness she did because I can now share it with you and uh, y'all be able to find it so again the recipe is about a tablespoon or not a tablespoon but a teaspoon of uh, petroleum jelly or Vaseline and for a small dose for a small dose guys and three squirts of alcohol spray Hi, Jeanette. There's only two ingredients, Jeanette. Uh, petroleum jelly and alcohol. If you if you do go back, if you do happen to watch, you can go back and watch the beginning, but I'll tell you. What you do is you take your a little dish, take a palette knife, get you a, te a teaspoon of petroleum jelly on the end of your palette knife, put it in your bowl. Take about three squirts, which is a small amount, spray it three times in your bowl, mix it up, and you have your paste. You take a Tim Holtz sponge, uh, round sponge thing, or you can use, where did it go? Where did it go? It couldn't take it anymore. Because it had to go, I don't know where it went. <laughs> What? Uh, just take you a little sponge and you uh, gently put it on your uh, paper. I'm going to do another one if you'd like to watch how I do this. <clears throat> I don't know where that one went, so I'm grabbing another one. <laughs> so that is still resisting. It still had water on it until I wiped it off. All right, so we're going to do the real pretty one now. which is the tie-dye, real pretty tie-dye. I love that. This is the one we just did. It's still somewhat wet, but that's okay. So we're gonna take the uh, the resist, and I'm gonna just put it over the whole thing. Because I really like this, and I wanna use this in another project, especially for a journal that I'm making. And I wanna use all this up, and I'll make a bigger batch of it later. Still wet, but that's okay. And we're going to do some more of this because I wanted to use a stencil. I totally forgot I had them sitting here. So we'll make up some more of this stuff and we'll use a stencil. We'll use some more watercolor. Sitting here, so we're good. All right, so we have that fully covered. Now we're going to take our towel and we are going to kind of wipe it, wipe the excess off.
Okay, honey. I'll try, but I really don't have the funds right now. I've got a really important thing that I'm raising the money for. All right, so. All right, so now we have the resist on here. And we're going to spray our water. This is going to be it. All right, so we're spraying. Oh, shoot. We're spraying alcohol, but now that you can see, the alcohol even resists from it. That's not what I wanted to spray on there. <laughs> You can tell that didn't even budge. Even with spraying alcohol, it didn't budge it. And you guys know that alcohol and water and paint, they mix real well. Now, <laughs> let's try to see it with the right stuff. As you can see, it is still beating up. Even with the oopsie whoopsie with the alcohol, it still beads up. There's no color being moved or nothing. Pretty neat. I must have not got it right there. But it's still there. Nothing is coming off. thing is harmed. Pretty cool. So we have uh, given you three examples of this really cool technique. Now we're going to uh, do a couple more of these. got a full sheet of watercolor paper here but I'm going to cut it because it's just too big for the desk and I'm going to cut it again and we can make more than one flavor I should say so cut it into four that's so not cut straight but that's okay Tell me somebody who can cut a straight line without having a line to cut on. I'll keep you behind. All right, so we have four sheets. And we're going to play with these. Okay, now we are going to choose a stencil here. I want to show you a trick that Stacey also showed in her video. Let's pick us one, shall we? I don't have the real pretty ones like she does. I don't have a lot of stencils like that. But I'll try and find a good one. A good one. Something small. Ow. Something that can be easily cleaned. Not so. That's about right. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this and uh, I need to clean that steep sometimes. Yeah, I'm going to have to soak that as soon as I get done. But um, I'm going to take this stencil and I'm going to take this resist and I'm going to put it over top. I'm going to put the stencil over top of this. And we are going to kind of get it in the holes. I'm going to kind of be careful. And 
after this, we're going to play with some sprays. We're going to show you what this does. We're going to peel this up. Well, from my my thing, not the cleanest in the world, but that's fine. Now we're going to take some sprays and we're going to spray this. I'm going to show you how that technique works. Let's see. This is a homemade spray, so. Yeah, it's an alcohol spray. And it's very potent. It's very colorful. All right, so we're going to spray this. See where it did not take the color? It's probably because of the alcohol in it. Maybe you had to use water spray. And it just bubbles up over top of that. I don't know if I did that right, but it's also a trial and error type of thing too, right? Work well, I say so myself. I would use that in the fairy background. What do y'all think? Isn't that pretty cool? One of my other favorites. Most in general it has paint all over it, which I think that's might be the reason for the bleed on that. No, I think I better not use that one. I think I might need to use a smaller one, cleaner one. Try this again, but I'm going to get a clean thing here. Okay, we have a clean color transfer. Alright, I think I might need to make some more, guys. That way, y'all can see me make this. Alright, so. She said a little bit goes a long way, but when you're using it quite a bit. As you guys can see before, it works. It works. It works. That 
at it again, guys. Y'all about seeing it go flying. Uh, no wonder my eyes are starting to itch because the neighbors have got their lawn lawn care people out next door. be in there does it it wants to be out on it wants to be played with right now it does not want to be in that bowl got that mixed so you have a consistency that looks kind of sort of like that just hadn't spooned it out you know after a while your hand does get tired doing that I'm going to take the resist that's on the palette knife. I'm going to put that here. Can't tell where I have and haven't been. Go figure. All right. You should have it on there. Pretty thick over there. Don't mind this right here. I actually got a different color on there in a previous battle with a spill, so that's not part of the sponge. Alright, so let me find my water sprays. Alright, so let's try this. potent sprays go figure. Well hey Sean I haven't seen you in a freaking forever. Y'all see that? These are water sprays. Everybody say hey to Sean You've not seen him in forever, so everybody give a shout out to Mr. Sean. How's your job going? Y'all see that? Isn't that awesome? See where the where it's beaded up over top of the resist? what happens when I do this. I'm going to use my, one of my larger pieces. Yeah, it's a job. I understand. I work from home. It wears me out. But not feeling good. It wears me out even more. I'm constantly doing something over here. This past weekend, we dug a, a 20 by um, 20 by 12 or 12 by 20 garden up and I could not move. Look how cool that is. That's using the wax re or not uh, the uh, I can't remember what uh, Stacy called her video, but I will put it as I said I will link her video into the. Um, into the description box after I 
have the video posted. Hang on a minute. I'm going to savor. I'm going to savor this this ink. I'm not going to let it go to waste because it's on a glass mat. And guess what? We can play. Because I can pray. And I can put some water on it and play with it. <laughs> we are not going to waste it. Not, not, not. Oh, cool beans. Kill. Cool. It's even got some of the resist on this where I did a, uh, a patty cake with it. I'm going to call it patty cake anyway. Maybe once that dries, I can put a resist on top of that and spray a different color. I don't know. I know it. it I know it got some of it on there because you can see that. I'm going to put this right chip, and um, I'm going to find some more paper with my lid over here to use originally because this is this is some heavy cardstock, and I'm going to just sop this up because it's actually a pink color. I've got some things I wanted to do with this cardstock. So I laid it on here. I saw some play with it even after the show. So let's sop up this. Oh wow. Wow. <laughs> I got a bunch of it up. We ain't wasting now. Ain't no wasting in this type of business here. Ain't no wasting. No wasting in the crafting world. Alright, so I'm going to let that dry and we'll play with that in a minute. It's not watercolor paper, but it's kind of thick paper. It's like a um, paper, like when they do uh, not poster paper, but flyer paper, or like heavy flyer paper. That's what that is. Let's, let's clean this up. Because I wanted to play with some of my oxides if I can find them on my cluttered table. happens I have thanks to Mama Wanda she got me a few I have uh, walnut stain antique linen spice marmalade fossilized amber and fired brick so we're gonna play with these colors I didn't know that mama all right so we're going to play on my glass mat. Since it is glass, we're going to put down some color. We're going to play. Where is my wipes? I didn't get any white. Bad, Bad Emily. So this is some real thick cardstock, and that's yeah, it's two pieces, but it's kind of thick. So I'm gonna cut this in half. We go today. Since I only have this much space, I don't need a, a big. So we're going to play with some oxides. Fired brick. Wanna 
that stain. And let's do a fossilized amber. What do you think? Wow, that's a, a brightness. Let's spray some, some color on that. because I'm going to use this in a uh, in an upcoming project because I wanted to play a little bit I wanted to hold your attentions for a little bit right, so since we've got a lot of the yellow running over here Marmalade. How about that? Make it look old. Isn't that cool, guys? It's almost like vintage. Now, I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way because I want to dry that and then I want to play with that and resist on it. Let's make this right here. Clean this up. There's that other one. Huh. Hang on a minute, guys. Oh, I might be able to see some of you and see what I'm doing because the screen was so dark. <laughs> All right, now let's get me hicking. any bright like blues or yellows well I've got the yellows but I don't have the other pretty colors that Timmy has out learned a while back with somebody, I can't remember who said this, but if you've got a paper that's got a curve in it when you dry it, you know, the curve, flip it over and dry it on the other side, it should straighten your curve out. Most of the time, anyway. Now, let's try something. Speaking of old Timmy, let's use one of our, our tags. It won't hurt it because it's actually, oh gosh, that's that glaze stuff. Oopsie. Alright, so we're going to use some of the risk resist on here. And we're gonna reactivate that.
have the thing on there. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put some more color out and plate. Okay, I've got some walnut stain. Oh, my thumb, my arthritis in my thumb's been acting up a lot here lately. All right, so I'm going to make a bit of that. Because the walnut stain apparently is not too good. I've heard some things about that. All right, so let's plop that down in. Oh, you're playing Fortnite? Look at that. Would anybody like that in a vintage journal? Mm -hmm. You're lucky, Mama. It is very pretty. Yep, I think I got this at a craft uh, at the at the um, when I went to. Oh crap! The craft thing in Georgia. <laughs> But yeah, I have yet to clean off the the thing, the that uh, anth anthology anthology paste stuff. Yeah, hi Mia. But yeah, look at that! Isn't that gorgeous? The way that that resist worked. Yeah, I want to go see my mama Wanda, but I just don't have a way to get there and the money to do it. I really wish I could help her out as much as I could. I know what she's saying. You don't need to do that. You need to concentrate on you. I can just hear her saying that. I can just about hear her saying that. Yeah, see, I told you. I know what you're going to say. I know you very well. Let's see how pretty this is going to turn out. I know it's got the same colors in as this before, but we're going to do something different with it. Set this to the side and get us another sheet. We don't want to waste that oxide. I don't like oxides. We used to not know how to use them until I started playing with them. <laughs> I really like them. Um, I'll show you in just a minute, Mia. We are playing. I'm showing them a new tech. Well, not a new technique, but something that Stacy had done, and everybody had been curious about. Well, have been curious on the recipe and how to do it and I'm showing everybody the ways of the Stacy <laughs> and what she did so we are not wasting that look how pretty that is I look like models All right, let's sit that over there and we will try this one I think one of my lights is about to go out and put splashes.
How many of you guys are learning and raise your hands? How many thinks this is cool and you need to give Stacy a slap on the back because this is her recipe and her technique. Just showing everybody that has been curious on how to do this. So, all right, we've got that. We are going to find another stencil to play with. All right, now, let's see. All right, now know what these are but maybe they'll work all right so we're going to put this on I'll put that over here Don't move. Let's hope this works because I think this isn't a China stencil, but sometimes China stencils are better than the originals. another coating of uh, walnut stain or vintage photo I can't remember which one it is and we will see what this turned out to look like. All right. All right. Now let's get that out of the way. Actually yeah walnut stain that's what it was. Let's move that out of the way. Let's put some more of this Stain on here. Add some water. And flopping it down. See, this is what it looks like. Let's flop it down. I don't think I got enough ink down. Maybe that'll work. Let's show up a little bit. I don't think I put water on it the last time, did I? I don't think I did. We'll do it this way and then we'll wipe that up. And... Yep, I don't think I put this, the water on there the last time. But we'll... but we will sop this up. We will not waste the ink that I put down. Use it for something else. No waste. Alright, now let's clean that back up and do it the, the way that I was, I did it before. Y'all didn't holler at me and say, hey, you, ain't, you didn't do it right. I'm going to do this fossilized amber because I think that would work. It's not showing up like I want it to. It didn't do what I wanted it to do. I got the other one. It didn't do it. It showed up a little bit, but not the way I wanted it to. Well, we will fix this. Okay? We will fix it. Let's do this. Get my black? No, I need my black. There's delusions black marble. Let's see what happens. Aha, look at that.
I know that worked. Yes, it is a Darcy. I love it. Uh, James Lee got it for me. Or Darice, sorry. I, spelled, I said that wrong. Uh, James Lee got it for me for Christmas, I think. Is it your birthday today, Sean? Is it, oh, that's awesome if it is. All right, let's, let's clean some of this up. Well, happy birthday, Sean! You did not put your name in the uh, in the Jules uh, group birthday things, as I sent out a happy birthday, uh, April 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 babies. Well, happy birthday! People are getting in trouble for singing, so I'm, I I can't sing no more. But Grungy. Don't want to waste. I really don't. Don't like wasting. I I will pull up that color and use it in a steampunk dye. Look at that. Cool, huh? Yeah. Let's set that to the side. Ah, salvaged all that. Oh, goodness gracious. All right, we are almost at 100, or 100, an hour and a half. Come on, don't do that. So, as a recap, we have used different things with this distress, or not distress, but, uh, um, oh, um, resist, not distress, resist. So, we have used sprays. Uh, we used watercolor. And you can't tell. Like I said, you cannot tell it's on there, but this side is the one that beads up. We used watercolor. Did I set them down somewhere? Yep, throw it underneath my box. More watercolor. You can't even tell which one's the resist. I believe it's this one. Yeah, it's this one. And this one was the untreated. Well, the only way to defeat that, Janet, is to control how close you have your heat gun to your surface. Say you want you don't want your, your water to move on your surface, hold it up higher. And it will gently dry. If you hold your heat gun or heat tool closer to your work, it's going to move your paint or your water or whatever you're working with. Oh, cool. I have splatter from the green, but I think that looks pretty cool. That was oxide. And apparently a little bit of spray. And then we had oxide and ink sprays. Yeah, you don't don't go out and buy something if you don't need to. Hold your heat gun or heat tool up further away from your artwork. I learned that a long time ago. When I first started, these ladies were generous enough to teach me the ways, and now I'm passing along their 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 ways to you. <laughs> You're very welcome. 
I'm frugal when it comes to crafting. So we have used three to four different ways of uh, using this uh, this this stuff, and it is awesome, guys. You all need to try this if you want to res uh, make a resist for your cards or anything like that. This would be a really great recipe to use. And judging uh, judging from the pieces that you see, they turn out awesome. There you go. Listen to that lady right there. Just ask a question. She's the one who taught me. She gets on to me too. But yeah, these are really cool little pieces here, and I'm going to be using these uh, pieces in journals and and tuck spots and things like that, so people may see these again. So um, I'm hoping that you all take. Uh, Take a lesson and uh, make some of this stuff for yourself. You don't have to go out and buy that expensive Tim Holtz stuff. You can make it yourself. As Stacy would say, what did she say in her video? How do you like them green apples? That's what she said. I was thinking about it. She said, how do you like, how do you like them apples? How do you like them green apples? Is what she said. So I'm taking, uh, um, taking something from her video. A lot of things from her video. So... As I said, I'm going to link her video after the video has posted. If you want to come back and watch the way she did her videos, um, her video, she may teach you a little more than I uh, than I do. She may try something else. You never know. You just got to go watch. So check uh, Stacy Evans out if you don't know who she is. She is our poodle mama, and she teaches a lot of people. I love green apples, but they make my gums itch. So anyway, ladies, um, if you don't know who uh, Stacey Evans is, go check her out. Uh, she's a wonderful artist and crafter. And so um, if you guys um, have not subscribed to her, get over there and subscribe to her because you will enjoy yourself. She is very open and honest, and she she speaks her mind. So if you, if you can't handle uh, people that speak their mind, that's not the channel for you because she's very open and honest and I'm being dead serious for all of those who, of you who know Stacy, I'm telling the truth. Am I not? So, um, uh, announcements, as I said, I'm going to, I was going to announce this again. I am having an auction on May 3rd. Thank you, um, for letting me know when my, when my own auction was, uh, um, uh, time is, deter is to, to be determined. Um, as I said, this is for to raise medical uh, expense, uh, raise for mess. Uh, hey, Laura, you so missed it. Did you get your package? Yeah. But anyway, um, this is to raise money to be able to pay for medical expenses and bills and medicines and all that because, as I said, it's not cheap. Um, I also have a GoFundMe if you'll see a Nightbot. Uh, my sister has set up a GoFundMe if you would like to donate there. I also have a PayPal if you would like to send a, a, a small donation there. Um, let's see. Oh, you missed the whole show, Laura. I'm closing. You'll have to come back and watch it. Um, the auction, I'm going to be taking donations. Uh, it, um, the donations are preferably it's called a build a box a build a box does not have to have a lot in it uh it just has to be a box this box has to be filled with crafty goodies um um things that other people would you think that would like uh homemade items some stuff like that um this box is going to be blindly auctioned and please put on the outside of your box blind auction box donation that means i cannot open this box until the auction even then i'm not going to open it whoever ha whoever has sent it i will say the name who has sent it and donated this box but the box will not be opened until you receive it again in the mail i will not be opening it what i'll do is i'll rip off the address label and the shipping things and I will readdress it I will not be opening the box I promise you that so it will sit 
unopened until the auction and even then is not going to be open it is a blind auction so ladies and gentlemen if you would like to get uh, a blind box please send it this way uh, as I said the auction is May uh, May 3rd I think if I'm if I'm if I'm not correct I will correct myself I will go back and look um, but as I said it's a blind uh, blind auction box so if you'd like to send donations please send it this way um, please put on the outside of the box blind box blind box auction donation that means I won't open it um, let's see what other announcements I don't think I have any I don't think I have any challenges or anything going on no, I don't think I do. What about someone feeling a box not mailed to you but send you a picture of it and send directly to bidder that would save you packaging or postage? What? Well, the they have to personally see it, Mama. What I'm saying is they have to see it in my hands. You know what I mean? Because they won't know what the heck they're building on until they receive it in the mail. If they see the box, they will want to bid on it, like a blind bag, like a, a goodie bag. People like to look at the bag, you see the you know, girth of it, the size of it. That's when they want to bid on it. But that's the reason why I, I do that. <clears throat> but yeah, that's what's gonna, uh, be for the auction for the donations it's going to be blind boxes uh Jeanette honey if you are in our group you should find my address in the address group in the address file in the RAK file random acts of kindness file or you can send uh, a text message to me personally and I can give you the address um I think that's it for the day. If you guys have any questions about the blind box, uh, please send me a message uh, through Facebook or send it on the uh, in the group, and I will get your message. Um, I have several moderators. If you are not a part of our group, please uh, go and send a friend request. I have several moderators that can get you in there. Um, if you are not subscribed to this channel and you enjoyed today and you learned something, please hit that subscribe button and please hit those thumbs up and leave a, please leave a kind comment. Please, no rude ones. Um, yeah. Uh, hopefully I inspired at least one of you guys to get out there and create and share your artwork. Share it with somebody. Send it out to somebody that needs a, needs a pat on the back or to be... To, to have a smile put in their face. If they're not feeling well, send them something, a little something to make them feel like they're part of the world. You know what I mean? Make them feel good about themselves. Send them a little something. Send them a little happy mail. But I'm going to be starting a little thing at the end. Uh, I'm going to read, I'm going to, um, I'm going to start reading a, not a lot, just a sentence. Just to leave you with food for thought. food for thought. So to end this, I'm going to say this. It said, I, I'm going to say, do everything with a good heart and expect nothing in return and you will never be disappointed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I love you all. I want to thank you for coming in and being with me, to, being with me today and joining me today. Hopefully I inspired at least one of you guys to get out there and share your artwork. If you're not a part of the group, please get over there and, uh, send a friend a question if you are not a part of this channel and you enjoyed today please hit those thumbs up and please hit that subscribe button leave me a kind comment and share your artwork ladies and gentlemen i love you all and god bless you all and i will see you guys on the next broadcast bye guys